Good morning and welcome to a sunny day in Berlin. We are on the way to Wolfsburg, or to the... Formerly known as Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Hamburg. Where? Hamburg. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Wrong place. <laughs> Wrong place. So we are on the way to the Volkswagen Museum. I want to move the shoulder back so you can see me as well. No one wants to see you, Dan. This is the end of things. Dan Felv is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's all, that's all Brilliant. I think the car's like a, I, I'm not sure, it's probably a 1 or a 1.2. What's Rian's? Um, no idea. Brilliant. <laughs> I have had, uh... So weirdly, in McDonald's in Germany, you've got Pizza Mac, Hot Dogs, McRibs, and everything else. So you've got a massive selection of anything, no matter where you're from. What up? See Wolfberg. Right, so um, just been driving around for about how long? How long three, do you reckon? Three and a half, four hours. Three and a half, four hours. No, we haven't. It's We've been driving around like Wolfsburg it. for about half an hour now, trying to find it. We got uh, <laughs> pushed away from Volkswagen because it was an actual factory entrance, uh, and he was like, "I was like museum." He was like, "Oh yeah, I'll take museum. Uh, take a right to A one four four, and uh, you'll get the museum. Oh okay. So we uh, followed it, and now we're at the official Volkswagen museum. <laughs> it's like a primary school. <laughs> yeah, not not quite sure if this is the right one, but um, it is. It is. Pretty sure this is two museums. We've this driven all the way from Berlin <laughs> to do that to come to this absolute dream oh. shack right here. <laughs> We're about to find out. car so far I think. Hot air balloon. Beetle. Plenty Amazing. more with that. Look at that. Yeah. Fuck that. It's all that wicker. So this is actually a wicker car. Now luckily we have a tour guide with us. Okay so this is called the basket beetle. This cut open saloon was given a decorative basket adornment created over 1000 hours of work using various different weaving techniques. So this is the Stamps Beetle. Now until 1985, the Mexico Beetle was still coming to Germany totally officially. This one was part of the German supply quota. The Wolfsburg Filatry Club used the car for fundraising campaign in aid of the local charitable institutions. Covered in 50,350 postage stamps, the Beetle is in the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> Apparently this is called the Beetle 1303 Oi Tenga Special. This slant nose Beetle 1303 measures 2.2 meters wide at the rear. This one-off was put together for show purposes by Otenga using a Porsche six-cylinder engine. At the front it has 225-50 tires on a 15-inch Porsche wheels and at the rear 345 to 355 rubbers. This is the Ultima Edition. In 2003, the final model series of the Beetle appeared, sporting white wall tyres and the historic Wolfsburg coat of arms on the bonnet. It was built in Mexico, where over 1.7 million Beetles were produced. After 21,529,464 units, Beetle production came to an end. Very sad. Alright then. So what do you do? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you sit on it and I'll put it in. Here we go. Is this your first? Sorry, you're a bit too, too big for that. I thought so, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't quite. Getting me kicked out of the. Uh, Got it. 
efficient yeah, vitamins. Yeah. Just efficient. Yeah. So I didn't actually know this, but Volkswagen used to make bikes. So these are 1868. 1839. This is a Volkswagen Beetle RSI 2003. It's super rare in normal hardtop, but this is a convertible, which is ridiculous. I've never seen one of these. That's a pretty awesome 3.2 litre. Here's the Puma Coupe. Puma was an independent car maker Sorry, in Brazil. I'm have to stop you there. Yeah. So, it's Puma. Puma was an independent car maker in Brazil. The Puma was sold at the Coupe inspired in the GTS, which is powered by the familiar Volkswagen Boxer engine. The two seater's body was made of plastic. Puma. What's it called? Puma. This is a see through car. Oh my god. 75. This is called the Type 3 1500S 1960. They always have these really, really good names. Not a very catchy name, I call that one. EA272 prototype in 1972. In the 1970s, the front wheel drive concept car designated EA272 was created as a replacement for the rear wheel drive Type 3. It's hard to transverse mounted in line four cylinder engine in front. This car anticipated the later Passat. Giorgio Gorgaria created the design for this prototype. Don't know what I just said, none of it seemed to make sense. <laughs> This is a Tuareg with, okay, well, with giant tracks on it. So it just came out of the Volkswagen Museum. It's actually amazing in there, as you can see. It's insane. It's got everything from, from vintage bicycles to the first Beatles made to the newest concepts. Um, so yeah, that was amazing. And now we're gonna try and find the pavilions for all the other car makers that are under the VAG group or VAG group. So yeah, be six hours.